But people in the defense and intelligence community have forgotten in America that it's not the bloody intelligence community and defense community that run America. It's Congress. And mate, Congress has found its balls. Believe me, the oversight committees have got teeth and they're using it because they realize they've been lied to. I've actually had conversations with people in Congress who've told me they're aware now that they've been misled and they are determined to get to the truth of this. And people like Kirkpatrick know where history is going. He's leading a unit which has been legislatively mandated to tell the truth about UAPs. The Congress has made an order And yeah, okay, you know, you can have the disingenuous briefings from Susan Goff of Pentagon PR as much as you like to certain individuals who then parrot what the Pentagon want them to say. But no amount of petty sniping from the sidelines is going to deter the Congress from asking the hard questions. And that's what I'm really heartened about. A lot of the people I talk to are in those committees, those key oversight committees, the Armed Services Committee and the Intelligence Committees. And boy, they are, they are aware, especially since the shoot-down incidents, that they've been being bullshitted to, that a lot of the assurances that they were given by the intelligence community and the Defence Department are eerily evocative of what was said towards the 9-11 Commission in the, in the wash-up, the post-mortem, after that awful disaster where so many thousands of Americans died in the 9-11 attack. They don't want this to happen again. And you have to understand that what's happened as a result of the um, Chinese balloon and mystery shoot down incidents is that an issue that was previously very much on the fringe, UAPs, you know, anomalous aerial phenomena, all of a sudden, it's become almost by accident a huge concern to the Congress because one of the things that started happening was people like Marco Rubio, people like um, uh, John uh, Kennedy, the um, uh, the guy from is what he from Louisiana. Um, all of a sudden, people started conflating the issue of unidentified objects that have strayed into American airspace with the broader issue of how the Congress is aware from private skiff briefings of unidentified anomalous phenomena that's still to this day being seen in American airspace and remains unexplained. And so those two issues have now joined. They are now a priority of, get this, both sides of the Congress. It's almost like they're trying to outdo each other because as soon as you get Senator Gillibrand from the Democrats basically saying, you know, she's doing her her level best to ensure that Arrow gets funding, up bobs uh, Tim Burchett and uh, Matt Gates from Florida basically saying they've just had a secret briefing in Florida about um, uh, video or some kind of imagery that they were shown by the commanding general of a base. And that's totally escaped the legacy media's attention, but it's been rightly picked up by good people on social media who saw the interview firstly on Newsmax, and then um, I think there was also an interview in Newsweek. And uh, Tucker Carlson also added what he said. And by putting all of those three interviews together, it's clear that two Republican congressmen, both sitting on key oversight committees, have been given a very sensitive top secret briefing where they were shown incontrovertible evidence of anomalous craft, four anomalous craft flying very close to US aircraft. Now, the big issue that you need to understand and your audience needs to understand is what Sean Kirkpatrick thinks about this is utterly irrelevant because he's just a little bureaucrat in the machine who will do he will bloody well do what the Congress does for, demands from him, because if he doesn't, he'll be out on his ear. And the whole politics has changed in this issue because of what happened 